This next episode of Trivia in Chief is about our 11th president, James K. Polk. James Knox Polk was born in 1795 in Mecklenburg County, North Carolina. When James was young, his family moved to Tennessee. Polk had many health problems when he was young, so he wasn't able to attend school. After his surgery when he was 16, Polk was finally able to attend school. After two and a half years of schooling, Polk was accepted to University of North Carolina. He graduated with honors in 1818. After graduation, he opened a law firm in Nashville. In 1823, Polk was elected to the Tennessee House of Representatives. The next year, he married Sarah Childress, who played a large part in Polk's political career. In 1825, Polk was elected to the U.S. House of Representatives. He became known for his support of Andrew Jackson, earning Polk the nickname Young Hickory. From 1835 to 1839, Polk served as Speaker of the House. He stepped down in 1839 and was soon elected Governor of Tennessee. He was voted out of office two years later. During the Democratic Convention of 1844, the party was having difficulty deciding between Martin Van Buren and Lewis Cass. They decided to compromise and chose James K. Polk as the nominee. Polk had previously only been considered for vice president, so his nomination for president shocked everyone, including Polk. Polk made it well known his opinion on two issues. He was in favor of the annexation of Texas and planned to make Oregon a part of the U.S. Because of this, Polk won the presidential election and became known as the first dark horse president. Before his inauguration, Texas had already been annexed. When Polk entered office, he got to work on claiming Oregon. Great Britain also claimed the region, and if Polk wanted to make it solely a part of the U.S., he risked war with Britain. He negotiated a deal with a 49th parallel was made by Canadian border, except for Vancouver Island. Polk also wanted to acquire California. He sent a diplomatic party to purchase it, but Mexico refused. Polk sent General Zachary Taylor to the disputed area. Mexico retaliated, and the U.S. declared war. It became known as the Mexican-American War, while others called it Mr. Polk's War. After several years of fighting, the war ended with the Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo. The treaty added 1.2 million acres to the United States. Through the Mexican-American War and his treaty with Great Britain, Polk acquired for the U.S. parts of modern-day California, Montana, Colorado, Utah, Arizona, Nevada, Oregon, Idaho, Washington, and New Mexico. Some of Polk's other accomplishments while in office were establishing the U.S. Naval Academy and signing the Smithsonian Institution into law. He also played a major role in the Washington Monument's construction and was during his time in office, the modern postal stamp was introduced. After serving one term in office, Polk stepped down. He passed away three months after leaving office. His death was caused by cholera. James K. Polk and his war with Mexico were responsible for one of the largest land acquisitions in U.S. history. The next president was Zachary Taylor, who played a large role in the Mexican-American War. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.